Oregon is a state where hops grow in abundance, and with a farm-to-glass philosophy, it's no wonder that in Oregon, beer is not just a beverage, it's a lifestyle. Hi there. Hi, how are you? I'm good. I think I'm at Tight Lines Brewery. You're at Tight Lines Brewery. You are. Hi. I'm Dave Ferris. This is where we brew beer. This is the hot water tank. It's called a hot liquor tank. All that holds is water. This is called a mash tun. This is where we, we mill the grain. We put the grain in with water, heat it to certain temperatures to get certain sugars out of the out of the grain, which is primarily barley. Then we move it into this tank. We have a two-barrel system. And we add hops. Then we pump it over here into uh, one of two of our fermenters. Right now, this fermenter is fermenting our RIP pale ale. It's full of beer. This one we just pulled out yesterday or the day before. Our uh, our dog here for it just moved it into the refrigerator unit back here. I transfer it in here to my bright tank where I have a sample valve and I have uh, pieces hooked onto here so I can add CO2, force carbonate, and test. So this morning I came in, I force carbonated the beer, and I test it from my sample valve down here. I go ahead and open this valve, the beer comes out, and I can see how far along my process is. See, just this morning, there was no carbonation in this beer. Now there is. And you can also just do a taste test, too. Would you like to try this? That's really smooth. So, Nate, what's the difference between what came straight out of here and what we'll try upstairs? Okay, so this is still, maybe you would call baby beer. What I do is I let this age in the kegs for at least a month to a month and a half. What we'll do is uh, we'll go ahead and go upstairs and you'll be able to taste the finished product. And this is this this is what we just tasted downstairs, or I tasted. Yes. Um, and this has just been matured more and you've put... Um, yeah, that's that's aged for an extra month and a half or so. Okay. So that's, nice. that's the finished product. Oh, and that is different. It's really, really good. I'm really excited that you guys have this brewery in Brookings. It's very awesome for the area and for Southern Oregon. And cheers to you. Yeah, well, thank you. Happy hour is big in Oregon, so I filled up my growler, picked up some smoked fish, and found a table with a view. I'm at beautiful Harris Beach, just north of Brookings. This is the most beautiful spot. You can come here, you can camp. There's some surfers in the background. I am enjoying one of the local brews. This is Tight Lines Brewery, located right in Brookings. And this is a growler. If you do not know what a growler is, maybe you've been hearing about it. The reason that you want to have a growler in your car, as I do, as when I travel, is because sometimes the breweries will only make a certain amount of a specialty beer and then when it's out, it's out. And so this is a way that you can get a beer that they're not bottling or selling in any other way than a growler. Also, um, Biscuit and I have gone and picked up some fresh seafood. This would be um, salmon from the local market, locally caught and smoked. This one particularly at Chetco Seafood. At low tide, this is one of the most wonderful places on the Oregon coast to go beach combing and uh, tide pooling. Big deal here. 